<clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, June 22nd of 2019. It's uh, 6.02 a.m. And I am in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, let's see. Wanted to update you. <clears throat> I'm back to 4K mode for this monitor. I was uh, checking a whole bunch of things that I've installed on here to see if I could remove something, and just three or four in a row or close to, uh, I was in uh, 1080 mode then. <sighs> Didn't appear. So finally I figured out they were appearing <laughs> off screen like I had a second monitor. So I went to 4K, and then, of course, they were there. Um, so I'm in 4K right now. Uh, the other thing, I mentioned the problem I was having with uh, Internet speed here. I have two uh, Google Wi-Fi units. Uh, one of works is, you know, the uh, router... So the cable modem goes right into it. And uh, actually, <laughs> the other one is sitting right down. I'm not sure. I wonder how long that cord is here. No, not. Oh, well, let's see if we can swing this around. Well, I need to. Um, I need to be able to see what you can see. So I have to. Uh, let's swing this around. And loosen up the. Well, move this back a little bit. Here's the Google Wi Fi unit. Now, this one, the other one in the other room is hooked into the cable. Uh, modem goes right into it. And this one here, I have in here, but I have uh, a uh, network cable running out of it right into you know, right into my computer here. So we're doing, of course, Wi-Fi, and then for this one I have a... Uh, so let me... Uh, remember, I had the problem. Also, what I discovered was uh, I was using uh, Microsoft Edge development mode, and well, anyway, I made some necessary changes or whatever, and Google Chrome... Uh, no. Uh, let's see, what did I get at group? Well, okay, well, let's find that out. Because I've got the app. Let's see, let's do Google Chrome. Well, let's do it with, okay, we'll do Google Chrome here first. Uh, now, we, we pay for, uh, 400 down and 20 up. Now, this is doing speed test with uh, Google Chrome. And uh, right now, there's my ex wife's at her computer, but she's not doing anything that uses any bandwidth at all anyway and so we got uh, 209 down and about 20 you know 20 going up here so this is uh, what speed test gives us now uh, let me uh, use the development edge development load it okay okay let's go over here we'll let this page load there's a lot to load on this page okay now let's go over here for uh, 
speed. Okay. <clears throat> this is the new... I'm not sure what they're going to call it. So let's test it. Uh, I pay a uh, hundred and twenty or twenty five dollars a month. A uh, hundred dollars of that is for the cable, and the rest is or for the you know internet. And the other is for a uh, phone line for my ex-wife. We share this apartment with our grown son. We all three share the expenses on it. Okay, so this is... Uh, okay. Let me close this. Now there is an app which is recommended by Windows or Microsoft, I guess. It's an app and they recommend that you use this for, uh, they say it is more accurate. It's on the, it's in the Google or the uh, Windows store. Oh, they especially recommend, this was recommended if you're using, I forget what the number was, but if you're, if you have high speed internet that they uh, especially recommend that you use this app, I remember that now. And, uh. So. I like that upload speed. <clears throat> so there we have that. Now back up here, we can close this. Uh, I'm not going to comment on politics, except um, the last two videos I made have talked about politics. I'm just going to mention briefly that I don't think that Trump uh, Trump is talking, and their people are talking about, let's see, where was it? Yeah. Uh, people are talking about that they watched uh, Trump agonize over this decision, and and he's making the decision or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't think that Trump is capable of, you know, when he called for the plans or, or whatever. I don't think he'd even call for plans. I think he'd just say, you know, attack them. But I don't think he's capable of knowing what information he should get. And when they present him with the report or the package or whatever that says, you know, uh, these are the recommended targets and here are the losses that we might have. And here, in order to do this, we would have X number of aircraft leaving from such and such, their arrival time would be such and such, or the time would be arranged to, uh, you know, at daylight or dusk or whatever it was going to be. All the, all this information that would be presented to him, I don't think he would know what to expect. I don't think he'd know how to handle it. I don't think he would know how to analyze it. Uh, I, he just, I don't think he's capable of it. And then I don't think he'd be capable of even asking you know, if, because this would be you know, like, I'm sure, you know, a thick, you know, uh, appendix, you know, A, B, C, D, and E are the, you know, satellite images of the uh, intended targets that we are, you know. I, I just don't think he, I think anybody who thinks that he's capable I don't think he's capable of reading the information, understanding the information, comprehending it, uh, you know, using that data. I just don't think he's capable. So, uh, thank God he did not go ahead with the, with the attack. I don't think that the, you know, 
but then I don't have all the data. Uh, so that's enough of that. Uh, just because I've made the two previous videos talking about that type of information, I just thought I should. Uh, by the way, here's, I almost never pull up Fox, but here's the Fox you know, News website. And over here they have exclusive clips. Uh, Tucker Carlson. Uh, Tucker says, I guess U.S. came within minutes of war with Iran. Uh, somebody else, I disagree with Trump's decision to cancel the airstrike. Uh, somebody else says, Representative Mike McCow, Trump is giving democracy a little more time. And uh, I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. So um, if you look down here in the little right hand corner, I'm running Windows 10 Pro Insider and I'm running evaluation 18922. And uh, yesterday or the day before, or whatever, when I let it up, when I went to, back to the fast ring, and it, um, I was running 18917, and it, uh, oh, it must have been, I don't know how long, two hours. I, I, I don't know how long it took to do all of that it does. And uh, it was, everything looked okay for 18922, but then it wasn't able to install it. I still had 18917. So then the next day, of course, there was a thing saying, and when it did that, it wouldn't. It said, uh, can't, uh, can't restart, can't whatever. Well, you know, but I just, you know, shut the computer. Did I go in, did a shutdown, and uh, then restarted. And then it, uh, on the second day, then it went ahead and uh, it installed the 18922, and everything is working, you know. Okay, except my nose is running. Uh, okay, um, what else did I want to mention to you? Uh, I moved my plants around a little bit. I should get closer with the camera, but I will... Um, I bring this up so I can see what you see here. <clears throat> I will, um, I'll do that sometime. I was looking at a YouTube video of um, the uh, <clears throat> waterproof cameras. And, uh, whoops, which way am I going? I'm going this way, right? And I uh, thought it'd be kind of need to uh, just uh, perhaps get the uh, Panasonic, Panasonic. I think I pushed that. Hang on. I think I put that on my wish list. Go to, let me minimize this. Go to Amazon. Here it is. Be kind of neat just to uh, set that down in the you know for the, in the water there in the uh, tank for a little bit. I think this one is the one that I clicked on that uh, is actually yeah apparently this one is you get a twenty or thirty you get twenty twenty eight seventy. Let's see, okay, no, this is. Yeah, okay, no, this is their full price here. This is the price new. Uh, if you want to, I wouldn't want to. For, you know, for $29 less, you can get one that's uh, renewed, which I guess means refurbished or something. But uh, I'm not, I'm, see, I'm 78 years old. 
it's not in the best of health, as you probably know if you've been watching these videos. So I don't get out a lot, but I do. I have three Panasonic cameras. None of them is waterproof. I would like to have a camera that I could take outside into. But then I was thinking if I, uh, if I did have it, be kind of fun to set it down in the tank for a little bit and just let it record. There's hardly any fish in there. I'm I'm thinking maybe uh, this coming week I may go over to a local fish store and get a few fish, see what they have, and get a few fish and put them in, you know, put them in there. There's a few fish in there, but not uh, not very much. Um, trying to think if I can show you what I think of what I'm thinking about getting. Where would that? Let's see for the fish tank. Tropical fish. Um, it doesn't look like tro. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Starts with a T, you know, YouTube, start, or, you know. Uh, which one of these is going to be the best? Let's see, live fish. Uh, live fish. Maybe you can show it here. Uh, now, there's a, a lot of great fish, and I could put some really, you know, pretty fish in. I love all the placostomous types of fish. I used to have discus, by the way. Well, I mentioned that before, but you know, my, when I was married, my wife and I uh, had a tropical fish shop for four years. Um, oh yeah, I, let me go up here. I have two placostomous in my tank. They get really frightened when I walk over by the tank or when I turn the light on over there. <laughs> Uh, uh, I love Pocostomus, always have. I used to have one in every, every tank. You know, when we had the tropical fish shop, of course. Um, but where are they? Uh, there are some now that are very easy to, that they're breeding very easily. Okay, I don't see them here, I don't think, I, unless I skipped over. Thinking about getting some of those, and apparently they're not on, did, or did I skip over them? Let me go back. Um. Uh, Okay, I don't see them here. So uh, what I'm thinking also, okay, I'm thinking about getting the, there's a uh, type of placostomus that is very easy to breed nowadays. <clears throat> thinking about getting some of those and just breeding them in the, let's see here, freshwater. Uh Think about getting some shrimp. These are very small, and uh, there's a whole bunch of different kinds. It's you know getting something like you know something like this, a bunch of them, and just putting them in the tank. They don't bother any. They eat algae, and they they uh, breed if the tank is properly set up they'll breed. Uh, what I have in the tank, not when they, they, their young would be very small. Uh, the, what I have in there now, I, would, I don't think would bother them at all, the babies. The fry would be very small. Uh, so I would depend on what the uh, local store that I'm gonna go to, what, you know, what they happen to have 
on hand. Um, so I'll uh, take my camera when I go and if the store doesn't object, which I don't think they will, I'll make a video in the store and uh, I guess that's uh, guess that's it for today. I thank you very much for uh, for watching.